Hi everyone, I wanted to quickly update you on the new free Azure SQL database offer that is now available in every subscription. Now there was a free Azure SQL database offer previously, but the old offer was for 12 months and it was based on you got this S0 tier instance. So it's really very limited in what you could do with it and for how long. What you now ho have with the new option is, well, it's for the lifetime of the subscription. And you'll see it's available for any subscription type. It's not just for, for example, those free subscriptions that we may have been trying Azure with. It's now based on the serverless Azure SQL database option. And specifically what you're gonna get is 100,000 V core seconds a month. And so the key point here is that every month, this just resets. So it's gonna reset monthly. And again, for the lifetime of the subscription. Also with that, you get 32, gigabytes of storage. And to kind of match that, you also get 32 gigabytes of backup space. And so that's a nice amount of SQL capability that you can do things with. And if you actually go and look at the website, it goes through now this updated offer and it talks about exactly what I just said. So, hey, you now get these over here. 100,000 V core seconds every month for the lifetime of your subscription. And if you keep scrolling down, it goes into other offers about it. So it will talk about the maximum size of 32 gigabytes of data. Now, one of the important things here is it is serverless. And so you could absolutely consume more than that in a month if you were doing a large amount of work. So you get the choice. So you can choose that once you hit that within a month, the default is it will automatically pause. So you won't accrue any charges. And then when you hit that monthly reset, it will then be available again. Or you can opt to just pay for that additional overage. So bill for the overages. So you get that choice. I can opt therefore to say, hey, I'm gonna use it for this application. I'll take those free 100,000 V core seconds a month initially. And then I know I may do more than that. I'll just pay for what's beyond that. Or I could say, no, no, this is just for free dev test, plan around. I definitely don't wanna actually have to pay real money. So I want you to auto pause when I hit that. Now, when we think of this, Obviously, when it's something's free, there is no service level agreement because service level agreements are all about getting credits back if it doesn't hit the certain availability. If it's free, there is no SLA. Once you go into the billing overage, then the regular SLAs for serverless would apply. But realize it's not moving your instance between different infrastructure. The underlying what is powering your serverless instance is exactly the same as where there is the SLA for your paid service. So from a reliability, expected availability, et cetera, it's gonna be exactly the same. So you could use this for trying something out, uh, experiment with a project. You may even opt to just use it for some application you have running in production. Just being aware of, hey, uh, that auto pause, and if it was in a sort of actually something useful, you'd wanna make sure you just switch that to the bill of the overage. So that's a new offer. Serverless, 100,000 vCore seconds a month, 32 gigs of storage and 32 gigs of backup. To use it is super, super easy. So if we go and look in the Azure portal for a second, when you're creating a SQL database, it's actually offering it there. So it's gonna offer you it once per subscription. Once I consume it, I can't create a second one. But you see this, hey, do you wanna try Azure SQL database for free? So you can see this rate card on the right. If I apply the offer, we'll notice the rate card has suddenly switched to zero. 
because I've by default overage billing is turned off. So it's not going to bill me once I pass that amount. The database will be paused automatically when I hit that free amount. It's telling me I get my 32 gigabytes of storage free, my 100,000 vCore seconds free, and my estimated cost will be zero. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm just going to remove the offer. I'm not going to consume it. But that's how I would leverage this in my subscription. So it really is super, super easy. It's just now one of those, you're seeing this more and more of Azure now. You get this ability to have kind of like a free instance of a certain amount every month for the lifetime of the sub. So now we have it for Azure SQL Database, this 100,000 vCore seconds. That was it. I hope it was useful. Uh, go and take advantage of the nice free stuff. Take care.